we'll just say you can introduce yourself yeah. and who you're with. So I'm here with Vern Brown, one of the owners of the Chesterton Brewery, and uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, appreciate you stopping down, Larry. So uh, Vern reached out to me. Well, you tell the story since you started this. So I, uh, you know, I've been uh, brewing for um, a little while now and uh, following Larry's channel and um, definitely like uh, the amount that you share, you know, you put out there, um, you know, your recipes and stuff like that. You come up with something good, you share that. You, you got the Excel sheet, you, so you're just out there trying to help the, the, the brewing community, you know? Oh, cool. And, uh, you know, a lot of people sometimes hold that, hold that uh, close and you're just a reciprocal of that. You share everything that, yeah. that you have, so. And you're a veteran. So another big thing, thank you for your service, yes, Larry. and you as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So that was the other half of this thing. So um, I, I guess you saw that I was a veteran mm -hmm. and from my YouTube channel, like you said, but uh, you also, your the theme of your brewery outside, the sign, right. what does it say? Yeah, Veterans Brewing for Veterans. So that's pretty cool. So uh, so you're just re reaching out, we're just, to, yeah, I mean, this is great, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I was like, I was so excited about coming down here for, for, for about a month or more now. And we've been kind of talking about doing this for a while and finally found the right day to do it. So, yeah, so. no, it's good, it's good. And the reason, the reason behind the Veterans Brewing for Veterans, Larry, is so many people have uh, given up so much. Uh, you know, that we, we have soldiers coming back with PTSD, they're having problems adapting to, to military life, and then also there's those that have given the ultimate sacrifice, you know, um, and there's a lot, of, a lot of families out there that'll never get to see their mom or their dad again because of that, you know. So we try to give back to the veteran community, make a positive difference, but we are nothing but a conduit. Uh, it's, it's the community that, that comes in and, uh, and brings in the care package uh, donations and, and, and spends their money here so that we can funnel it out to um, non-profit veteran-based charities. And you do do a lot of that, from what I see on your Facebook page and your website, the posts you guys have done in the past, they, you've done a lot for like other, lots of military charities. Right. And uh, I think that's awesome, man. Thank you. I think that's great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so um, w when did the brew pub open? So we opened September of uh, 19. Okay. Uh, it took us a year to build out. You know, it, it took a long time to find a spot for one. Uh, ceiling height, parking, uh, floor uh, loading, all those sort of things. But then once we uh, finally got a spot, then uh, we started hammering it out. That's awesome. Yeah, I, mean, I, always, I, I used to think about wanting to open my own brewery or restaurant or brew pub like what you guys did because you also serve food. It's not just a small uh, nano brewery only no food operation. You guys brew it all the time. You're always, you get a bunch of beers on tap. I, I took a look at, at the menu. We haven't had lunch yet. I'm hoping to be rewarded. They do barbecue. It's a big thing on your oh, menu. You're going to go home full. I guarantee it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm looking forward to this day, man. Uh, Chad's behind the camera here. We're going to have a good time today. Um, he's just uh, Vern has introduced, introduced us to his partners and some of his employees, uh, including um, Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, yeah. He's the brewer. And then Corey. Corey, Corey's our pit master. The pit master. So this is, a, I mean, this is great. This is like, this couldn't be a better fit for, for this video. So awesome. Again, thank awesome. you. Thanks, Larry. I'm glad you guys came down. Let's get going. The beer we're brewing in this video is a skilled up version of one of my own recipes, the Lair Garden Belgian Wit Beer. I've done a couple of versions of this on my YouTube channel already. If you'd like to see how I did it in those videos, go back and see those after you watch this one. But here we're scaling this up from a five gallon batch to a one barrel batch. Same ingredients, just larger size. Well, the match was going on and we had plenty of time to take a break, so we decided to open up some of my oatmeal stout that I brought with me and give it a sample. I think it went over pretty well. Yeah, I enjoy this, Larry. Well, I really you. do. Yeah, well, we'll have more if you like to, you know. I mean, it's going to be a long day for me. I, I brought two growlers. That's just, they were just using a little chocolate pump there to do research. Are you drinking the donuts still? No, 
know I'm drinking my my bro. Oh, oh, oh. Would you want to try one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, just go again. Yeah, What's that? Right. Before I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Which was good. With the mash done, it was time to get back to work. <laughs> Boy, if only you could have been there to smell the air. This is my second favorite part of the brewing process. The first being the hop additions. Chad certainly liked it. And of course, we can't forget the specialty ingredients. The chamomile tea, the orange peel, and the coriander. And of course, a mixture of Hallertau and Saz hops. This is my favorite part of the brewing process. So what do you think, Chad? Ah, uh, it smells great. <laughs> then it was time to chill and transfer. Of course I didn't forget about the food. They had brisket, pork shoulder, ribs. After a number of hours, it was about ready to pull out. It's looking pretty good. Well, it looks like it's barbecue ribs for lunch. Had to pair it with a number of their beers as well, of course. I met up with some people, friends, family, and fans. It was a good time. There she is. She has watched her. My youngest fan ever. Inevitably, a long day of drinking is going to result in the need to release. Luckily, they had these fine looking stalls. Oh boy. Two weeks later and we were heading back to Indiana to try the beer. I was really looking forward to this. They had my other garden on tap. I got the first pour. Guys, we're back. It's been a couple weeks since we were here last. Chad and I came back down here to hang out with Vern yet again. So, uh, cheers. Cheers. We're going to try, the beer. We're gonna try our the, the litter gardens build up on their system here. And, um, ah. <laughs> Very well done. I think that's a good beer. Right? That, that, that's a good beer. Heck of a job. Yeah, no, heck of a job. Heck of a job, everybody, all around. Cheers. Everybody. Cheers. Everybody. <laughs> That wasn't the only beer I came here to try. They have this awesome glazed donut stout made from donuts. I just had to try it. As luck would have it, I ran into these fine fellows at the Blind Pig Confessions podcast who were setting up to do, well, a podcast that day. We sat down with a few of my Lair Garden Wit beers and hung out and had a little talk. Uh, awesome turnout. Um, I'm going to have a few more of these before I head all the way back home to Illinois. And uh, we do appreciate the kind of 
respect. Absolutely. I appreciate us. you yeah. so It was nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Yeah, it was a good time. And, uh, yeah, I enjoy things like this. It's good. It makes brewing fun, right? It, it does make brewing fun. All right, cheers. Yeah. All right. One more time. One more time. One more time. Uno All right. Mas. All right. See you all later. Cheers.